So hey guys, welcome to the tutorial today and this is going to be looking at creating ourselves a custom health bar in Unity. So in the bottom left corner you can see the picture of the human being at screen and you imagine that would be your health bar in something like a survival game. Now if we press E you can see that we take some damage every time I press E and then we lo it looks like we've been fully damaged and then we can have a fail state or something like that. So we're going to start off with a blank scene today. So I'm in Unity 2019.3 and I'm just going to make sure that we're in 2D mode. I'm going to right click in the hierarchy, go UI and create a canvas. Once we've created a canvas there, we can set that it's scale with the screen size. So I'll set it to 1920 by 1080. So we just keep the resolution nice and big. I've already got a UI sprite, so all I've got is a sprite here, which I created in Photoshop, and all it is is it's 256 wide by 512 high, and all I did when I imported it in, I converted the type 2 sprite 2D in UI, and I'll provide this if you want it, but you can quite easily create something yourself, it doesn't even have to be a human, it could be a square. And then on our canvas, we can right click, and we can go UI, and we can choose image, so we're going to class this image and we're going to have this as the front image and what we're going to do is we're going to add the UI sprite to the actual slot itself. You can see it there. Now remember that with the UI sprite make sure it's white so then we can actually change the color on the fly when we're actually in the game. So what we can do there is we need to make sure the width and height are the correct amount. So I said 256 by 512. And we've got the sprite there. I might just scale it down 0.75 on each of the X, Y, and Z axes. So we get something like that. I'm going to drag it to the bottom corner here. And when we've got that, I'm going to set the anchor point to the bottom left. So that's going to be our first image. And what we'll do is we'll make that red. And then we'll add another image and we'll call this back image. And it's just a duplicate. And we will make this green. The images in front is always got to be the one higher up in the stack here and we can set this to front image and then name it green just so we don't get confused. So you can see when I untick it we've got it like that. Now we can keep the back image which is the red one by itself make sure that's the highest in the stack and we can select the front image which is a green and we can go to the image type and we can set that to filled. And when we've got filled, we can choose a different type of actual fill method. So you can use radial, vertical, and other things like that. So I'm going to choose vertical. And you'll see that when I move this vertical, it'll move up and down as we expect. Now you can change it. So from vertical, you can move it from the top to the bottom. So you can do it the opposite way. But for this, we'll keep it at vertical so it's full at the bottom. Or you can do it, you know, whichever way is more important to you. So once we've got that, we're going to need to create a really simple script. So we'll create an empty game object and just restart, reset the transforms. Then I'm going to just name this as health controller. Then from there, I'm just going to add a new component and call this health script. And then I'm just going to add and create that script. And we'll open up in Visual Studio. Now, what we need to do at the very start is that we need to add a reference to all the UI things that we're going to use. So we're going to say unit using Unity Engine dot UI with a semicolon. I'm just going to get rid of the starting methods here. And in square brackets, I'm going to write serialize field. We'll have a private flow, which is player health. Another serialize field, private float, max health, because we need something to store the health, not make sure that we don't go above a certain amount. And another square bracket serialize field, private image, and have this as have this as health image. And then from there, what we want to do is we want to create a button press. So we're going to write void, update, and then two brackets and two curly brackets below and we'll say that if input dot get key down and then in this case we'll put in quotes e so if we're going to press the e key we'll have two left and right facing curly brackets again and then we'll say player health minus equals 10 or for this sake we'll just say damage because we might want to specify it ourselves. we could create a trigger event to do this but i'm just showing you this as an example so we'll do private integer damage like that so we don't specify in the script how much damage we're going to do we'll do that as we go along and then we want to create a method called update health 
because we only want to update the health when we specify when we're going to take damage. So we'll write another method, private void update health with two brackets after it and then two curly brackets below. And then what we're going to do is we'll say that health image. So we're taking the health image and then we access the fill amount. And then we'll say that is equal to the player health divided by the max health that we have with a semicolon. So if you imagine that the max health in our case is 100, and then you actually take divide the player health by that, you will actually get a, the amount that's left, which we will fill the image with. So on our health controller, like we did, we're looking for, so the player's health, we'll say that it is 100. We'll say that the max health is 100. Then we'll add the player image, which will be the front image green. And we'll say the damage can be 20 for this case. So what we'll do is we'll press play. We'll get the scene. And then every time we press E, you can see that we take the damage until we have none left. And I could not maximize on play. And you can watch it in this corner over here. You can see that every time I press it, I lose 20 health until I've got zero. So there you have it. It's just a simple way to create yourself a human looking or custom shaped health bar and I might do a tutorial in creating a full custom sort of survival health bar. And you can also extend this by maybe adding some text, but this was just a basic example. So be sure to check out my f great free assets on the asset store. Join the discord if you're looking to able to advertise your game and talk to other developers. Even check out my Patreon that I set up recently if you're looking to support the channel. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.